Is the Texas Army National Guard sending M1 Abrams and M2 Bradleys to the border with Mexico? So this popped up on Twitter from an account called Endermax who said, a train transporting dozens of M1 Abrams and Bradley tanks to Texas towards the southern border. All of these vehicles belong to the Texas National Guard. They're also transporting self-propelled artillery. What exactly is the point just for show? Couple of things uh, before my foreign viewers for a start here. In the United States, the National Guard is a part-time reserve force that is under control of the state governors and can become a federal force in time of war. Normally, they're used for things like natural disasters or riot control, but they can be called up by the president to go overseas and fight. Lately, on the Texas-Mexico border, there have been waves of these no-status immigrants coming up from Mexico. The American president has been reluctant to deal with the problem, and the governor of Texas is stuck paying the bill for the hundreds or even thousands of no-status immigrants illegally crossing the border every single day. So the governor of the state of Texas has tried to close the border using National Guard troops. The federal government has said no, only they can close the border. Right now, the president and the governor are seeing who blinks first. So this is a very contentious issue that has divided a lot of Americans. So first, let me show you the video, then I'll kind of break it apart. Couple things to start. There are Bradley variants in this image. There are also M1 tanks, although I can't tell the particular variant from this video. I believe these are assault breacher vehicles, which are essentially engineering and landmine clearing vehicles. Uh, there are these Hemet trucks. Uh, this looks like a JLTV with a trailer and uh, then an LMTV. Uh, there was no self-propelled artillery on this train. This person doesn't know what they're looking at. Now, I believe these Bradleys are M2A3 or M2A4 variants. You can tell by the IBAS, the Improved Bradley Acquisition System. Right here is the CIV or the Commander's Independent Viewer. It's essentially a thermal camera that the Bradley Commander can use to look for new targets while the Bradley Gunner is swiveling the turret and servicing existing targets. So the turret and the CIV can operate independently. Um, now, the CIV here is locked in travel configuration, and this might actually give you an idea of where these vehicles are from. As far as I know, the only National Guard units that have the M2A3 Bradley, which isn't even the newest version of the Bradley, is the first of the 635th out of Kansas and the second of the 116th Combined Arms of Titan out of Idaho. Mech units from Minnesota and North Carolina are scheduled to get the A3 variant by 2025. Typically, National Guard units tend to get older, hand-me-down equipment. Uh, the active duty is on the Bradley A4 variant, so the National Guard will get their A3s as the A4s take up the active duty positions. Now, let's talk about Texas. Texas only has one battalion of mechanized soldiers, and in this case, it's, it's actually armored cavalry so it, if it was using Bradleys, it would be using the M3 variant of the Bradley or the M3A3 if it was a modern variant. And technically, this Texas unit actually belongs to the command structure of the Tennessee National Guard. Sometimes units split across state lines. Now, that one battalion in Texas is 3rd Battalion, 278th ACR, or Armored Cavalry Regiment. They only have one troop of Bradleys, and in cavalry, a troop is basically a company of Bradleys. And they're based out of Temple, Texas. Uh, in particular, this is Lima Company, although they do have two other troops of Abrams tanks. This is a relatively new unit. Uh, this particular unit actually used to be in Pennsylvania, and then it got sent to Texas in 2021. Texas used to have essentially its own armored division, 
but it lost all of its heavy, heavy armor in uh, 2004. Um, so they've been growing the unit the past couple of years. Now, the Tennessee National Guard, and by extension, the Texas National Guard, is also scheduled to complete their transition to the Bradley A3 variant by 2035. I would say that it is very unlikely a National Guard unit who is scheduled to receive Bradleys by 2025 would suddenly have A3 Bradleys on a train rolling down to the Mexican border. There's a couple reasons why. Number one. Moving and operating Bradleys and tanks is an enormous expense. It takes a lot of maintenance and a lot of gas. And you can do the same mission on the border by using less expensive Humvees or F-150 pickup trucks or all-terrain vehicles or even horses. Yes, the Border Patrol still uses horses. The second problem has to do with training. Remember, third of the 278th is based out of Texas. The rest of the brigade is in Tennessee, including its headquarters. And as you get your A3 Bradleys in, would it make more sense to field the A3s in Tennessee or in Texas? Most of your support infrastructure, your knowledge, your active duty National Guard guys, your maintainers, they're going to be in Tennessee. They're going to be at the headquarters. Texas would probably get those vehicles last because if there's any problems with the fielding of that equipment, you want to work those problems out in Tennessee not 14 hours away in Texas. There's a third problem with the video, and that is that it popped up on a Russian Telegram channel first. And this channel is known as a seeding channel. Russian propaganda works in three phases. The first phase is seeding. This is usually done on Telegram where Russian bots and sophists put out disinformation. The second phase is harvesting. This is where Russia takes a look at what has become sticky, what people have kind of gotten interested in on Telegram or in some of the darker spaces of Twitter, and they direct their bots and sophists to start retransmitting this information. By now, the disinformation is usually crossed over to Twitter and it's starting to get onto Facebook. Then we have the third phase, which is amplification. This is where people knowingly or unknowingly share misinformation. And now it's out in the wild, it's on Twitter, it's on Facebook, it's on Instagram, it's on TikTok. This particular account is an amplifier. Whether they know it or not, they are part of the problem. If you don't know what you're talking about, don't share it. There is an active effort right now by Russia to cause chaos in the US about the border issue because Russia wants somebody to do something stupid that gets put on the news. Before you share something, even if your heart wants it to be true, even if it helps your political agenda, you need to think to yourself, could it be Russia who wants me to share this? And if so, is what I'm sharing good for America? Every time somebody tells a lie, it takes minutes to tell that lie, it takes hours for me to clean up. Uno mente, mucho trabajo. And unfortunately, there's only one of me. So what is this unit doing? Why are they on rail cars? Who knows? Army units get moved all the time. They could be going to, they could be a unit going from Hood to, uh, to NTC for a training rotation. They could be headed off to a ship for a deployment. There is nothing odd about moving military equipment by rail. It happens literally all the time. But I can say for certain, this unit is not going to the Texas-Mexican border. The amount of fuel to run Bradleys and M1 tanks on the Texas-Mexican border alone would be astronomical. Hey, look, uh, I've been really busy lately. My lease is up. I'm going to be moving out of here soon. Uh, I've been moving during the day, moving my stuff. And I, I, I'm sorry, I have not been able to keep up with everything. I'm trying, guys. I'm trying. I'm spending the day trying to move and my nights back here at my apartment trying to make videos. If you want to support the channel and, and I guess my move, you can buy one of my uh, t-shirts like my Landmines hoodie back there or get one of my Live Laugh Launch shirts from Bunker Branding. Toss me five bucks at ryanpet.substack.com where I can show you all the footage that I can't show on YouTube. And thank you guys so much for watching. Oh man, I'm so bored! Christ on crutches with a permanent profile. That's because you have the wrong toys. You need a Ryan Macbeth in action figure from the Knife Hand Company. That's right, Ryan Macbeth in action figures go everywhere. Put them on your desk. Your Crocs.
Your keychain! You can even ask Ryan advice. Ryan, why does daddy ignore me when I'm over his house for the weekend? Because your new mommy is way hotter than your old mommy. Trading cards. You get a free trading card in every box. Now that's Ryan Riffic. So come on down to the Knife Hand Company and get your in-action figure today. Alcoholism, cigarettes, and non-service connected hearing loss sold separately.